Hello, I'm Midget Miner, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a castle turret. But it is going to be a castle turret that does not look like this one behind me. It is, to be honest, it is terrible. It is plain, it is square, it uses all the same blocks. It's very small. The interior as well is really bad. The lighting is not great, there's torches everywhere, and there's not much space. So we're going to be trying to improve that in today's video. Okay, so for this we're going to be using stone, oak planks, stone bricks, some ladders, stone brick stairs, stone brick slabs, oak fence, and some torches. And we're going to start off with the obvious, which is stone bricks, and we're going to start off with a 9 by 9 square as our base layer. Once we have our 9 by 9 grid, we are simply going to take three blocks off the corners like that, just so it gives it a more rounded appearance. And we're going to do that all the way around. Once you have that shape on each straight side, we are going to go one, two, three, four, five across. And then we're going to repeat that two, three, four, five, all the way round. Two, three, four, five. And the last one, four, five. And that is the base of our castle it looks a bit rubbish at the minute but at least it's bigger and we are next up going to go into the use of stone bricks so this castle follows a pattern so at the bottom we have a two block high module followed by three so they have a bedroom and you won't suffocate yourself in the ceiling and just so because it's the middle i think it looks a bit better and then we've got another two and then two on the top and then we'll work on the battlements later but we're just going to build that up all the way around okay for this first layer i've left a two block gap all the way around and the reason for that is because you need to decide where your door is going to go and we're going to take stairs and put them leading up to the door like that wherever you want it to go and then for the rest of them which are going to be windows we are going to take our slabs and we're going to put one at the very bottom and one at the very top like this all the way around and what that does, it, it means that the window is not just a hole in the wall, it adds a bit more depth to the build. Okay, for the second layer, obviously you don't need a door because you're not going to be walking out there, unless you wanted to add a balcony, which you could, which I'm not going to be showing in this video. But the windows are going to be slightly different just because they're three blocks instead of two. So instead, we're going to use stone bricks, uh, stone brick stairs sorry, here, and we're going to place them upside down all the way around just because instead of adding slabs that you can see through it adds the extra detail without having too many holes in it and then at the top we're going to place in our slabs as usual well that is all the layers done so the next thing we're going to do before we move on to the very top layer the battlements is we're going to add in the oak flooring now you can tell where it's going to go because it is the band of stone bricks running around the outside on each of the layers where the floor will be and for the very bottom layer, you're just going to fill in this gap here over the foundation. For each layer, make sure you just poke a hole in the corner somewhere through your floor, just so that we can put a ladder here all the way up to the top. And then we are just going to add our ladder going all the way from the bottom here, through the gap that we made earlier, all the way up to the top. But you want to leave the block there. Just so that you don't, when you come up, actually, if we're going to add the battlements, I mean, it's your choice, but I think it looks nicer when it's flush with the floor. Okay, to start the battlements, we're going to take our stone brick stairs and we're going to place them upturned or upside down every other block. So we're going to start in the middle of the five and we're going to go around like that. Just leave the corners for now. And the last thing that we're going to do for the battlements is we're going to, on each of the stairs, place a stone brick going all the way around and then just so that the battlements aren't as rigid as the ones on the last one we're going to add a little bit more depth with these slabs on top of where you put the oak fences just so it's not like I say so rigid with just stone bricks going up and down quite a big gap between the two to finish off the top we're going to take our torches and put one on the two outer sides of the battlements and then to finish off the lighting inside we're going to take 
an item frame. I've done this in one of my lighting tips videos. Check it out. And we're going to take cobble slabs. Should get rid of the fence because we don't need it anymore. And then go down from here. And then in each of the rooms, where on either side of the window, we're going to place a torch. Probably don't need this many. You can do one. You can just do one for each window if you want. And then we're going to use the trick where we put an item frame behind that. And then inside of the item frame, oops, not meant to do that, we put a cobblestone slab, which is a pretty cool effect for medieval builds. And we're going to do that all the way through. And that is it for today's video. I do hope you enjoyed it. We have tried to make this very blocky, boring plain castle into something a little bit better. Obviously, this is still quite a simple turret. You can expand it, make it better if you want. It's without the walls as well. And we've used a different block palette. We've used stone. We've used the wood instead of constantly stone bricks. And we've also missed out the corners. We just tried to make it slightly more rounded. And the battlements, I think, are a lot better as well. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave the like if you did. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.